Hi, Neil here from Portainer. So today I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough of, on how to upgrade your Portainer instance when you see this upgrade notice in the bottom left sidebar. Uh, this, this notice here shows whenever there is a new version of Portainer available for you to deploy. As you can see here, I'll be running Portainer 1.23.1 and the current version is 1.23.2. Uh, I have two instances of Portainer, one of which is a Docker Swarm cluster, and one of which is a standalone Docker host. So depending on your environment, uh, you can follow the instructions for the standalone host or Swarm. Now, if you have a Swarm cluster and you have deployed Portainer using the stack file, uh, as we recommend in our website, again, Portainer IO, get it now for a Linux Swarm cluster. This is the stack file. This is the recommended way to deploy Portainer in the stack. Uh, then you'll see stacks, Portainer. You can then click on services and you'll see Portainer. Uh, you can click on that service and then ordinarily you just click update the service, pull latest version, click update, wait, wait five seconds and then you're done. In my case, because I've hard coded this to this old version, I need to change the image. So I just change it to Portainer, Portainer, apply change, and then simply wait a few seconds. You'll see this will expire me. Now 1.23.2. Okay, so that is how you upgrade it when you're in a small cluster. Now, if you're in a standalone Docker host, this is you can tell this is a standalone host because you've got the host option here, not swarm. So in here, you can see that I have just an LDAP stack already running. Uh, I have just the container that is spun up from that LDAP, and I have Portainer. This LDAP is just to show you that you don't lose any stacks. So you can see here's Portainer. Uh, it is running. The first thing you need to check is that you have deployed Portainer as per our recommendation. And again, if you come to the website, we say here, create a persistent volume, and then run Portainer. With the, with the Portainer data persisted. You need to check that first before you before you follow this process. So go into your Portainer instance, scroll down until you can see the data, make sure that you have Portainer data to data. If you do, your data is persisted. If not, go no further because you'll lose all of your Portainer configuration. Okay, so now to upgrade Portainer, you actually have to go to the command line. So if we do a Docker PS, you'll see there is Portainer running. We simply do a docker stop P A C in this case to stop Portainer. You'll see here this thing will die now because there's no Portainer running. Docker RM P A C. Docker PS. So you can see there's nothing there. If I do a docker volume LS, you see there is my Portainer data. So now again, come back to the website. See this command simply rerun this. You don't need to recreate the volume because it's already there. So come back to your node, rerun this command. I can't find the latest version of it, so it'll pull it because it's upgrading. So there you go. So now we can come back into the instance. We can refresh the page. We'll be prompted to re-log in. You should be noticed here that we're now not prompted uh, to go through the init phase, come into here, click on stacks, and you can see we still have our stack available. The LDAP container is still there. Portainer is now running the latest version, and the upgrade notice is gone. So that is that now concludes upgrading Portainer instance.